Welcome to our Tech Insights video. Today, we're tackling an important question from a developer evaluating Keycloak as their single sign-on solution. The challenge? Integrating Keycloak login into a React-based single-page application, or SPA. Imagine a user composing an email in an email client SPA only to be interrupted. When they return, their session has timed out and they need to log in again. Our designers want a seamless experience where the user can log back in without losing their unsent email. But how can we achieve this with Keycloak's redirect-based authentication? Let's explore the possibilities together. All right, guys, we're back with another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully you find your solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. To integrate Keycloak login into your React-based single-page application, we need to address the session timeout issue. First, let's understand how Keycloak handles authentication. When a user is redirected to the Keycloak login page, the SPA is reinitialized, which can lead to loss of unsaved data. To prevent this, we can use a different approach. One solution is to implement a silent authentication method using an iframe. This allows the user to log in without leaving the SPA, thus preserving the state. To implement this, you can create a function that checks the session status. If the session has expired, open the Keycloak login URL in an iframe and handle the response. Finally, ensure that your application can retrieve and store the tokens correctly after the user logs in. This way, the user can continue composing their email without losing any data. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To integrate Keycloak login into your single-page application, it's best to use the authorization code flow with PKCE. This method ensures secure authentication. The login process involves a complete redirect to the authentication server. However, you can use the silent check SSO option to avoid full redirects. With silent checks SSO, the login occurs in a hidden iframe, allowing your app to initialize only once and preserve its state. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To incorporate Keycloak login into your single-page application, you can enable direct grant access for your client. This allows login through a REST call, even though it's not the best practice. To maintain the state of your app, consider including the state in your redirect URL. This is a workaround outside of Keycloak's scope. If you want to prevent automatic redirection to the login page, use the Keycloak initialization option Check SSO instead of Login Required. And that's it, guys. I hope the video has helped find you to that resolution and you are able to get through your problem. If you did, guys, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. It does help me out. And until next time, have a good one.